how do you uh, get rid of this ultimate irony in the Philippines where you have a surplus of nurses That's as well right. as a shortage of nurses? Yes, uh, it's, it's very, it, well, we've always had a labor expert policy, which means uh, it's really not a choice for a nurse, for instance, to stay here. Because staying here means working your ass off and getting poor remuneration for it. Whereas working at the same level in another country gets you not only better compensation, but a better lifestyle and career option. So it's, it was nev it, it's hardly a choice for nurses here and other health professionals of staying here. Plus, plus pa, there were instances in the past that other countries really needed additional nurses. So they, they, they upped the ante, kumbaga. they added additional features. So yung pull factor ng ibang countries, plus yung push factor natin, ang hirap. So what we've been trying to, to ask to tell government is baka kailangan alagaan talaga natin yung mga nurses natin dito. So it becomes a real choice. If you talk to, let's say, our nurses here, they don't want to leave the country. But they, they're seeing how nurses are being treated here now. Imagine, it took forever for them to get the, 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 a section of the Nursing Act, the one about compensation. It took them forever to get that get that passed. Tapos ngayon, it got passed. It resulted in demotion of other nurses. Oh, yeah. Di ba? Nagka-demotion issue pa. So, kung ikaw ay nurse, nagtatrabaho ka sa gobyerno, at, and honestly, yung gobyerno na ngayon pinakamataas magpasahod ng nurses as compared to private hospitals, for instance, ganun pa trato sa'yo. So, you can just imagine the difficult position of nurses. And here comes an offer to work abroad. And you're, maybe we're, you're working at the same level of difficulty. Pero at least, mas malaki yung kita mo na aalagaan na padalan mo yung pamilya mo na tutustusan mo yung pangangailangan mo. So it has it's always been that. It was never a real choice for nurses or other health professionals to stay here. And the pandemic has actually shown how how very little the government is doing in that regard. Can you imagine? We're already we why can't government recruit now in the middle of the pandemic? Kasi yung ino offer nila hindi naman ganun kataas. And if you look at what they're offering the people coming in from Cebu, natuto na sila. <laughs> May mga dagdag na. The compensation is actually much higher than what they're actually giving currently employed nurses. If you look at the compensation package ng... So nagkaka-distortion ano, patuloy, ano? Oo, oh, oh, yeah. nagkalaki. Pero kasi, kasi Luchi, ano lang naman sila, three months lang eh. So yan yes, din yung nakikita natin eh. Contractual yeah. sila. Contractual yung, yung obligation nila bigyan mo na sila ng malaki para ma, ma, mapastay mo sila dito. Actually, we've been, we've been calling for that in second opinion. We're saying, give them attractive packages for them to, to actually consider staying here and joining the fight because right now, we need everybody. Eh, hindi pwedeng volunteer, hindi naman pwedeng papagil trip pa natin at sabihin, hindi kayo makabayan pag hindi kayo nagstay dito. Yung mga ganon, mm -hmm. hindi yun yung proper approach. In fact, before, we, we saw yung kahit sa doctors, no? We saw doctors moonlighting in, in hospitals outside Metro Manila. Pero ayaw nila mag-join mm. dito sa Metro Manila. Bakit? Kasi mas maganda yung package, mas may leeway sila to move around. So why can't we offer something like that uh, in, in the middle of pandemic? Maybe just hire them for three months, six months, and then look at it again.